Hello everybody and welcome to my house videos. Today I'd like to show you another one done by me. Uh, today's model is a Craftsman. Yeah, a Craftsman Bungalow. You see a lot of these in a lot of American cities. Even Albuquerque has them. Well, I live in Albuquerque. Oh, yeah. Um, there's just lots of rows of these. It's so common because these were mail order homes from this particular one is a Harris home. Usually Harris had a dormer right in front and it was symmetrical usually except for the chimney. As you can see, you know, I mean, very modest. Just a brick porch foundation, beams, brackets shingles, cladding, small, usually there were small windows on both sides of the chimney. Well, mainly because they like had cabinets and stuff. This particular model actually doesn't, as you can see in the window, it's just the front fireplace. And I don't know, I don't think I'll be going inside this one. Um, you know like walking around because basically the rooms are tight and has a simple layout and um, there's not that much interesting stuff to see there's the kitchen as you can see around here the back door stairs pretty cool isn't it I think so basement windows and this door actually goes down into the basement and it also comes back comes up so when you go inside this door you can either go up a couple stairs or go down a flight of stairs and I'll show you inside in just a minute bedroom this house is, a, is one of those standard three bedroom houses and it only has one bathroom so I'll show you in here I yeah um, you see what I mean by simple layout there's your living room dining room kitchen pantry they had weird pantries back in the day in fact they actually had weird kitchens I actually remodeled the kitchen because I hated that I hated that original kitchen so much. And here's that door. Here's a door down in the basement. I didn't actually. I just made it locked. A locked door, so you can't go down there. And this is a. See, it goes under this landing here. Some steps that go down to this landing, and then more that go down into the basement. Again, this one's locked as well, so you can't go through that. Your typical five-panel door. And this model was actually made before I included doorknobs in any of them, in my models. So, and also depth into my doors. So that's pretty much what went on in these older houses when I was making them. see here you know room with ceilings in them I decided not to do waste coating in the dining rooms even though I usually do just because I guess I was lazy that day nice archway though looking into the other room you can picture a couch here and a TV in the corner here so yeah it's not a bad house and people love we're, we're happy to have these houses. I mean, mail order, easy to build, and relatively cheap. So that's why you see in major cities there'd be a whole lot of these. I don't know exactly how many there are now, but um, back in the day these were very popular. Especially if there are factories around, because these were tract houses back in the day. And as you can see, the stairs go up, little hallway. Then three bedrooms, each with a walk-in closet. Walk-in closets are always nice. 
I know you'd be thinking if I told you this, but without going inside the house, you wouldn't believe they're all walk-in closets, but they are. You can fit some nice things in there. Master bedroom gets two closets. And I mean, that came with the original design. And another thing I don't read, but I don't understand fully, is that they'd bother to put a whole window, a whole double hung window in the closet. So from the outside, it looks just like a regular window. But all it is is a closet, and I really don't understand that. Because, I mean, I could take this, omit this window and make that shelf go all the way to the end. But, I mean, I can't really think of, think of how builders were back in the day. Nice. Stairs inside the window there. Now, that's always a good feature, having a window by the, with the stairs. And, you know, always have a window in the bathroom. That's pretty much always a must. My book, that is. Window in the pantry. To me, unnecessary, but... Oh, well. Obviously, you gotta have windows in the bedroom. I just can't stand those houses that don't have them. I know, you can't believe that there are actually houses that I looked at that don't. And there are some bedrooms that were actually interior. And then I also walked through some old some condominiums that had like bedrooms that were interiors as well. I guess just because so then they can have the living room. But anyway, that's just me. I'm a stickler when it comes to houses. But I also like to model things too, whether I really care for the design or not. Modeling is always fun. So yes, this is this house. Again. The layers back on. And this is it. And this is the house. And you know, I will tell you, I always wanted to live in a craftsman bungalow. I always did. You know, buy one that says for sale in the front and fix it up real nice and then live in it. I mean, that's all I ever need, you know. I mean, I need three bedrooms. One for my bedroom. I'll take the biggest one. And then one for my office. And then the other one is a guest bedroom. Yep, that's my, that's sort of my dream home plan. Dream homes, you know. I only need three bedrooms at most. And as for me, this lifestyle I live, I don't need very much space. So, I mean, I could take one of these houses. I mean, you know, one's for sale. You know, I'll go and I'll definitely go inside it, you know. Have a look around, ask as many questions as I can, and such. And also, I mean, to note the fact that these things are historic. Well, um, and another thing, I like to put shadows on these things. Just don't like to do it when I show them around because it's slow. That really gives it that impression. And the windows look like they have a glare to them, which I like very much. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it. And there will be more along the way, so subscribe button will be worth it, if you, especially if you like this one. And, you know, I'll tell you what, thank you for watching. All right. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.